Hi guys, Emma and Richard again, and this is workshop two on clowning. Now, before we go any further, if you watched the last video, you might have seen that our dog Ozzy made a little appearance. Uh, we've decided to leave him in the room with us because we quite like the idea that he could take us by surprise. We find that quite funny, and that's something we love about live theatre, is you never quite know what's going to happen. And particularly with clowning, it's quite good that unpredictable things can happen because part of the joy with clowns is watching them figure out a difficult situation and either making the best of it or making it far worse, as is often the case. Yeah, so he's sleeping quite quietly beside me for now. We'll see if he stays that way or if he decides to enter the scene and hilarity ensues. Who knows? Uh, okay, so in the last workshop we looked at being silly. And in this workshop, we're going to look at how clowns communicate with their audience and show emotion. So one of the lovely things about clowning is they really work their audience. They really have good communication with them. So to start with, we're just going to look at showing some really basic emotions and see if you can guess what they are. And these emotions are always amped up to the most extreme level if you will. So if you're happy, you're happy to the extreme. You're never sort of somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Okay, ready? First yeah. one. Here we go. <sighs> so, hopefully that was really obvious that we were happy. Um, you saw we were showing that with our faces, but also with our body, with our energy levels, and with our breath. So uh, let's try another one. Let's try... Sad? Yeah, let's try the opposite. Let's try sad. Really obvious, really exaggerated. Um, let's try, we've had happy, sad, confused. Let's try scared. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <gasps> 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 and now Aussies come to check we're all right. So that was scared. Uh, let's try one more. Let's try angry. Yeah. Okay, so now what we'd like you to do is get yourself either a camera or a phone or a mirror and practice each of these emotions, making them really obvious and really clear and making sure you're checking in with whatever is watching you. So if it's the mirror, you're using the mirror as your audience or if it's your camera, you're really making sure that you're looking down the lens so that you're sharing that experience with whoever's watching you. Right, now what we're gonna do is take these emotions and use them to experience the world around us. So the really lovely thing about clowns is that they know nothing, basically. They're innocent, yeah, everything's new to them. Yeah, uh, so they're like babies. They've never seen anything around them before and they don't necessarily know what it's for. And a lot of checking in with the audience, the idea of looking back at the camera is sort of sometimes seeing if it's okay if they touch this thing or do this thing or seeing how the audience would react to them, you know, that sort of, sort of thing. Yeah, so we're going to do an exercise where we look around the room 
and finds an object or a thing and see how you feel about it using one of the five emotions that we've just tried. Uh, Richard, do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. Uh, first wasn't sure about you or the camera, then thought the plant was a pet, and then it bit him or bit pricked him. Pricked me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll give it a go if you'd like an example. Um, you or you might film it and you can do that checking in with the audience and this will give you a clue as to what kind of clown you would like to be because the important thing is that it's fun for you as well so give it a go try exploring your house as if you've never seen anything in it before and you don't know what it's for and find some new and different uses for things and we will see you soon for the next installment of how to be a clown take care guys